Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Many of you may be aware that I released an intro template uh, the other day. Um, a lot of people enjoyed it, however some people found it difficult to change and had problems with it. Uh, so I'm just going to try and fix most of the common errors that people received. Uh, so we'll start off with this Cinema 4D file. Um, it's pretty basic, uh, I thought some people would understand, obviously not anyway. I'm uh, here to make a video to try and help some of you. Uh, so if you downloaded it or whatever and couldn't use it, um, I'll be helping you today. Uh, so let's go into the template and the Cinema 4D file. And this is what mine looks like. Obviously, I have a quick render here. Render? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and that's it rendered. However, because you downloaded it, the file may not be seen. Uh, so you need to search for it. So in the text material, uh, double click on it and under color uh, you should have the texture tab here and yours won't be selected so if I do, you just got to go to the little three dots uh, which is like uh, initiates the browse and you just need to search where you downloaded it if you've got your download set to downloads it'll be in the folder in which you downloaded the intro template and you just click it in there and also you'd need to do the same for the bump and you need to click the three dots and do the same there and that basically finds the finds the image but replacing it. Uh, so that's all on that department, I believe. Uh, Alright, changing the name, uh, change text here. Now, obviously, to get all the names editable, it's quite hard. Um, so I did it individually. So the Y, you just tick down, and you see you've got the Y character there, and you just change the text, and you do this for every single character. And this, your name is literally your name, of course. But yeah, <laughs> you know, you just change it as you will. Uh, I used quite a few characters, eight characters, um, probably most names are shorter than that. Uh, you can maybe abbreviate it, however you can probably add more by just duplicating and adding it in as a child. And I believe that's all for Cinema 4D. Uh, now into After Effects. Load up After Effects here. Um, I'll open the project and the desktop. Chrome Designs and After Effects template, open. Okay. And this is what you may get. Obviously, I've moved it since I did it, so I've got you get this nasty television, whatever. And the way to fix this is you see the ones that are missing on the left. Uh, obviously, you can tell because no image looks like that, unless that's what you go for. And this is the scratched metal. So right click, go to replace and file. And so this is in the intro template work. In fact, no, it's on the desktop, textures, and scratched metal there. So click open, and that replaces that. And then the dark grunge PNG. So right click, go to replace file, and desktop. Just need to find it here. How much remember I thought? I'm going to go to finder. Obviously, this is a great way for you to go for typing whatever it was called dark grunge. PNG. Uh, so this is the image sequence, like the title. Uh, it's because you have it no background, so you can edit that in After Effects. Yeah, you can do it that way. So Cinema 4D intro template work, intro template, and dark grunge. There we go. Open, and there you have it. You just need to replace the footage. You can find it. You know, it tells you the name of it, so you can just search in either the Finder or just the Windows search. Uh, but no, that's all from me. I uh, hope this helped a few of you uh, who couldn't get it working. Uh, if you're not familiar with the intro giveaway I did, um, there'll probably be a link in the description or whatever, and you can check that out. Uh, but anyway, I think that's all from me. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm in Chrome Designs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.